I think we anticipate that when you have the social distancing guidelines, it's kind of hard to put large groups together, and it's a real challenge for everybody. You know, there are people who want to come back to school and then think about a school bus with 60, 70 kids on it and somebody sick or they sneeze, cough, and then you have to deal with all those kids, a bus driver and everybody they had contact with, you know, the tracing that they do. It's a real challenge right now for everybody, so I don't make any judgments on it. Uh, we're prepared either way. We've been working really hard every day. Staff has been coming in to make preparations regardless. Um, um, so our goal now clearly is to prepare for the end of the year, complete work, get those dates, those guidelines we have. Uh, grading guidelines, teacher of the year, a lot of work to collect, and uh, seniors, and then graduations and uh, awards day and promotions, and we're trying to come up with some uh, possibilities for all that. And I can tell you, the team, the staff has been working really, really hard to come up with um, options for us. Well, do you think there's a possibility of, you know, live in-person graduation ceremonies? Well, a lot of things would have to change for that to take place, and uh, I think some of that may be delayed. We're, we're planning, and what I'm going to do is we're meeting right now. We have a variety of options, and some of those come from parents. You know, we're very receptive to listening to what the suggestions they have on Facebook and different things, and we're going to push those out to seniors next week to get their input on some of those and um there's some challenges with large groups right now, but, you know, who's to say we don't come back and have something in July where we have an in-person ceremony, a celebration, uh, maybe in the stadium. And, you know, I wouldn't rule that out right now, but I, I do think a lot of things have to change with regard to opening up. Um, but, you know, it's just a lot of questions that can't be answered at this time. How has the uh, you know the e-learning been going? Do you think it's worked, been successful? And is it you know do you have to make any changes between now and the end of this school year? Well, we've made adjustments along and along. I, I think uh, certainly it's difficult to reach everybody, and we'll have to take some of that in consideration. Um, I think the biggest adjustment we make, and and Gina Smith and Ms. Coins and Dr. Giles are here now, is and they can speak to that is FaceTime with Zoom and um, Google Classroom and a number of things. Let, let, who wants to speak to that? We've been, I'm sorry. We've been working very hard to make sure that our students, each of our students are being touched, as Dr. Doja stated. It's not the perfect scenario, but it's worked well for us because we've had lots of practice. Um, we've made it where it is an expectation for each of our teachers to weekly um, conduct um, a virtual setting, whether it's um, Zoom or Google Meet just to make sure that the kids are understanding the assignments and allow them to ask any questions that are necessary. Um, at this point, because we have been working very hard to ensure um, that our kids are getting the um, best instruction possible, the only adjustment would be in our grading, and that's something that we'll be sharing in the very near future um, with the public. At this time, we are still meeting to make sure that we are um, on the same page as far as the expectations, because we want to make sure more than ever that we are showing grace for grace. Uh, we understand that each of our kids are um, in different settings, and we want to make sure that we allow for some flexibility as we begin to look at their final grade. Got a question about the uh, the meal program. I know it's continuing. Um, Horry County had to stop theirs because of some coronavirus cases within the food workers. Um, are the food workers and everybody that's involved with that being sick? I mean, how do we know that that? not happening in Georgetown County? Well, that's an interesting question. And, you know, my priority as superintendent has always been health and safety of, of students, but also employees. And um, we've done a variety of things with those. Uh, first, we have protective gear, mask, and uh, gloves. And masks were hard to come by, Scott. I had to call in a favor or two to get some masks. But uh, our nurses started this week um, at all food service sites, uh, meeting with those employees, checking temperatures and that type of thing. And, and I wouldn't be surprised if we do that with other employees. But we've asked employees from the beginning 
if you're sick or ill or somebody in your family is sick or ill or if you have a temperature. Unfortunately, my routine now, Scott, is when I get up in the morning to check my temperature and in the evening, too, to make sure I don't have any issues. But, you know, you could still possibly be asymptomatic, I guess. And uh, But we're doing the best we can. And fortunately for Georgetown, our numbers have been relatively low, and I don't, I don't want to jinx that or anything, but um, we haven't had, to my knowledge, and I ask that question a lot, have we had anybody – that um, had the virus, either an employee, uh, maybe some family members or contact with family members. Uh, we had a couple of people that had some incidental contact, but they never, they went in isolation for a while, but they never really exhibited any uh, symptoms, which was a good thing. So uh, we've been really lucky with that. We'd like to continue what we're doing, but our meal numbers have been fairly significant, uh, not as large this week. We missed a couple of days last week, but uh, we did almost 7,000 meals yesterday, so it's picking back up, but um, that's the concern that we have. Certainly, we have the masks, we have the gloves, we have the hand sanitizers, we try to maintain our distance, um, and we've been rotating staff, like um, trying to assist where they can take a break and they're not exposed, uh, you know, we're only doing it three days a week. We're doubling up on lunches. So that was another reason we went back to three days to limit our exposure. And one final question, and this was a weird one to ask, because I don't know if I should ask you or, or call Jim Bell and ask him, but um, the original plan was to, for the school board to possibly vote on the new superintendent May 25th. That's probably not going to happen now, I would, I would imagine. Um, with this going on, are, are you willing to stay on for a while to see us through this crisis before you before you retire? Well, you know, that's a question for Mr. Dumb as far as the process and where they are with the superintendent, but I've always said that I will stay as long as they need me. Certainly I serve at the pleasure of the board. Uh, this is a really challenging time for anybody to walk in and take over all that we're doing. It's fairly complex and uh, I'm not sure if it's a good time to interview and move and those types of things, but yeah, I'm, I'm quite willing to stay as long as I'm needed, Scott. Uh, you know, I've always been like that, and the staff has been very dedicated. They've been working every day uh, on all these issues. Well, we're going to continue to try to update. We've done several videos this week. We give weekly updates, and I try to rotate uh, staff members in to do that so they can see the number of people that are working and they recognize people with a face. Um, I do think we'll give continuing updates. And the, the problem is that things change from day to day, almost minute to minute, so it's kind of hard for us to concretely plan. Uh, summer programs are a real issue, and I know how important those things are. We will deliver some services this summer, um, you know, some of that may be one-on-one, some of it may be compensatory time for uh, special students, but we have a, a number of things that we're working on, and slowly but surely we're going to get back and this the path, and uh, I don't know what the new norm may be, but we're going to continue to provide services for our kids and do the best we can under these challenging circumstances.